All right, coming up next, a welterweight matchup between Bruce Lee and Kamaru Usman. Well, nice to see this young fighter healthy and making the walk here tonight. His takedowns are just incredible. High amplitude takedowns, great technique, explosion really with every shot, and seemingly no telegraph as well. So even a fighter with good takedown defense, more often than not, is not going to see this guy's shot coming. This guy has one of the best abilities to take a shot that I have ever seen in all my years of commentating on fights. His chin is truly world class. martial arts. Bruce Lee, outstanding striker, very dynamic on the feet, so unpredictable, great combination of precision and timing. And Bruce Lee was quoted as saying, the best fighter is someone who can adapt to any style. Bruce Lee is nothing if not adaptable, perhaps the most influential martial artist of all time. This guy has ridiculously powerful kicks is the one thing his opponent needs to absolutely avoid if he hopes to achieve victory in this fight. Or till the date for this, our main event of the evening. Two years apart, these two fighters. Some differences in height and reach. And now, one more time for the official introductions. Here's Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, a referee in charge of the Octagon, Van Mergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold-out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City, This man is a wrestler with a professional record of 14 wins, one loss. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Fighting at a Boca Raton, Florida, Kamaru, the Nigerian Nightmare, Usman. And now we can see his opponent fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California, USA, Bruce the Dragon Lee. All right, good thing rules in the locker room. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. I want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, back your corners. I am fight. very fired up for this fight. It's been a long time coming. The fans have been anticipating this for a long time, and it is going to go Red. down right Red. now. Well, this building has hosted some of the biggest fights in boxing history, and now MMA making its presence felt. We are underway and ready for live action here at Madison Square Garden in the heart of New York City. He got tagged there. Takes him down early here, Joe. No surprise. Very evident he wants this fight on the map. And now is where things could get really interesting. And he's back in the guard. Lands a strike now from the bottom. Nice work there by Lee. Into half guard again. Posturing up now. Oh, lands a massive elbow. Posture's up now. That's a vicious head strike. How'd he take it? Excellent movement and transitions here on the ground. Staying busy. Moves to half guard. Mounts again. Straight 
Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Excellent movement on the ground here. Constantly moving, constantly staying busy. Working from the mounted crucifix. Back to side control. He's established mounted crucifix. It appears a cut has opened up on his cheek. Oh, hammer fist here by Usman. He's now working from side control again. Tries to pass, but doesn't make it. And busy as he looks to improve position here. He's gonna try to take the back, I think. Usman's hammer fist, that one blocked. And he lands a hammer fist. Now he's back into full guard. Showing some good defense here on the ground by controlling that arm. Excellent movement on the ground here, always trying to better his position. He hip escapes, he's out of the full mount. Slides him over, and nice reversal here. And he's gonna try to take the back. Excellent movement here on the ground. He's now working from side control again. 10 seconds now in round one. There we go, north-south position. The horn sounds for the end of round one. Here's a big leg kick. And here we see perfect timing with this double. And here's a thunderous hammer fist landed from the top. Your eyes starting to swell up a little bit. I need some better defense from you, okay? Let's keep those hands high and let's keep that head moving. Get in, get out, all right? When you're exiting, let's keep those hands high. Brittany Palmer in the building. Round two here. Working the inside of that lead leg. Usman gets the double leg takedown. Oh, that cut has really opened up now, Joe. He's got half guard. Punches there. Oh, really nice work to keep busy off of his back as he lands some more offense here for Buck. Excellent posture. Posture's up here and now going to the body with that big strike. Nicely done by Usman. How good is that right hand? Well, you gotta be working off of your back. He's certainly doing so here. Nice punch. He's got the arm trapped of his opponent. Good defense. He's doing a great job of moving and transitioning here on the ground. He lands a big shot from the bottom. Lee gets up. He is back on the feet here. Well, Joey seems to have his opponent's timing down. He has landed some good shots, but nothing really in terms of multi-shot combinations, and perhaps that's why his opponent's still standing. So perhaps at this point, he could change up the power with which he throws some of these strikes, maybe alter the tempo a little bit, and try to make it so it's not just one and done when it comes to his striking attack. From, uh, from a flattening out position, when you gotta, he's got his back here, looking for the rear naked choke. Wants to slide that forearm under the chin to get the choke. Trying to work that arm under the neck for the choke. He's got it. He's got the arm under the neck now. He wants to get it underneath the chin. 
Gets that bicep on the hand, gets the other hand on the back of the head. Out and there it is. Used excellent technique in getting that choke for the victory. Well, yeah, Joe, he told us during fight week he's been working dutifully on his submission game and he was gonna look for an opening here tonight. Safe to say he found one near perfect setup on the choke. It was sunk in deep and his opponent had no choice but to tap out or go to sleep. And here we can see it again. That's a real tight choke here. And here we see it again. Beautiful submission victory. So there he is, your winner by submission tonight, and that is how you put the rest of the division on notice. A huge result for him here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mergliata has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 40 seconds of round number two. He's going the winner by tap out, Kamaru, the Nigerian nightmare! So there he is, your winner by way of submission. And candidly, Joe, I'm not sure this night could have gone any better. He did have some doubters coming in. He said, I got to mute those naysayers. And they're not going to keep quiet unless I can actually get this guy out of there. So mission accomplished. No judges necessary tonight. He gets the submission. And now all that's left is to celebrate with his coaches and training partners 